A new man passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. Another day, another trip to the hospital. <laughs> I'm not joking. I wish I was joking. Um, it's all good though. I am going this morning. Uh, the kids have actually not all gone to school at all. All four of my children are at home and uh, it is late start for two of them to be fair. But I am going to get a glucose test done at the hospital lab. Oh, my Chihuahua garage door shuts. Um, it is our one of our attempts with my endocrinologist to fight insurance to get back onto some of my medications because I need them. I need them. Um, so we're gonna go take the three hour glucose test like you do when you're pregnant. And I don't know if I have to stay at the hospital. You do when you're pregnant because they don't want you to like pass out when you're pregnant. But I don't know if I have to this time, so let's go find out. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when I get things right. Lost in the shadows of a million stars. Shouldn't they invite my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me? It's been an hour and I just barely got the test <laughs> the first part of the test so annoying <laughs> just like can anything just go right in any process that I'm working on this week can anything go right so I go in and I had already looked at my chart um, I looked at it yesterday just to make sure that the lab work requests were in from my doctor and they were lady next to me is looking at me like oh funny She's even laughing at me, but it's okay. It is what it is. We're going to keep doing this. Um, I had a two, two hour glucose test and a one hour glucose test in my chart. So I go in there today and I tell them up front, I'm here on a fast and I'm here on a glucose test, which you're supposed to do immediately. And she's like, okay, but I guess that doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't bump me to the top of the line. I didn't have to wait a ton. Uh, I only waited like maybe 20 minutes or so, so not a long time at all compared to what I waited in the past. But I go back and he's like, well, which one, like he, the guy like starts to get, you know, the lab request pulled up in his system and whatnot. And he's like, well, well we can't run both of these. Which one do you want? And I was like, it's the glucose test is a three hour test. <laughs> What do you mean? Which one do I want? The re doctor requested both of them. And anyway, he's like, you can't have both of them. And he, anyway, I didn't understand. I was like, why would my doctor request both of them then? I didn't know it. He's like, so let me, he's like, we need to ask your doctor. And I was like, okay, well she's right downstairs. But like, so he like goes to try and like call her. Um, and he's like, oh, she's just downstairs. I'm just going to go down there. I was like, pretty sure you're not supposed to leave your desk. I'm pretty sure as a phlebotomist working in a lab, you're not supposed to leave the lab <laughs> to go and track down my doctor at her office. I'm pretty sure that's not your, you know, protocol. So he leaves and he comes back like five, 10 minutes later. And he's like, I don't know if he even found the office to be honest with you. And he had been trying to get a hold of the office that whole time, like calling it and kept you know getting put on hold even through the provider line and they even came back to me and he was doing the same thing and got the front desk and said i'm a provider i have a patient here i need to talk to the doctor urgently and then the receptionist which i should have should have known the receptionist person um went ahead and just messaged the doctor which they got back to him immediately I should have known that because you can get messages to the, the nurses and stuff way faster than you can like trying to get them through the phone. 
So as I'm sitting there like, yep, go ahead and do the two hour glucose test. And I was like, okay, but I'm, I know I'm supposed to have a three hour one. Um, so we quickly did the test. I chugged, I still have like, ugh, of the drink. And he's like, you don't have to go so fast. And I like had chugged like more than half of it and I stopped because I was like, I guess I should slow down. And then the aftertaste. And I was like, no, this is why you chug it. So you don't have to have the aftertaste more than one time. And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I was like, don't ever tell anyone to just slow down. Just let them drink it if they want to drink it. So it took me three sips to get it down. Then we started my timer. I have, um, how many minutes? Oh, two hours and 44 minutes left. So he's like, well, you can just sit downstairs, watch a, a movie, you know, and by the time that's over, you can come on back up. I didn't ask if I could sit in my car, but it's really not any different. I'm in the parking lot. If I have an emergency, I can literally call 911 and they can come and get me. But um, I don't see it any different than me sitting in the little garden court um, in the middle of the mall. They have like an inside garden court um, that I could have sat outside at, but I'm just gonna sit in my car. I'm gonna turn on a show and I actually have a book. Actually, I'm gonna read my book because I haven't been, um, I'm not going to show you the, the book. A friend of mine wrote it, but it's kind of personal. It's kind of, anyway, so <laughs> I'm not going to show you what book it is. But I started it last night and I'm already halfway through. To be fair, it's a very um, thin book. I'll just show you. It's a very thin book. So I'm going to finish reading that really quick. And then um, I will probably watch a show, a Netflix show, or um, some YouTube videos here in my car. But I can't leave. Like, I know that. I can't leave. So I'm just going to kill my time here. I think the other kids are off to school here in a minute. I'm just wasting time again. <laughs> I just feel like everything I've done this week has just kind of been like a waste of, not a waste of time. Like, time is wasted in between the things that I'm getting done, if that makes sense. The calls that I've made are important to my doctors and whatnot, insurance. Just the time in between and the time waiting seems like it's a waste. So let's go waste some time. All right, I've burned an hour and I finished my book over here. Finished that book. I knew it was gonna be quick, so I'm probably gonna just I'm gonna save my battery. I didn't realize that um, come on, that my battery didn't get fully charged last night. You can't see that. 46. I guess I'm okay. But I was going to turn the show on here, but I'm probably just going to use my phone. All right. I took a good nap instead of just putzing around on my phone, which felt nice. <laughs> um, so I have seven minutes left. I'm going to go in and let them know that I am ready. I do jump to the first of the line after this test. I do. I do know that. So I can't get you put away and go in at the same time. So let's go. All right. They did that one well. I went in. I said, I, well, actually, I had to run in to the bathroom first. I was like, oh no, I'm going to miss my mark. But I went in and I checked in. And I was like, I have two minutes and 30 seconds until my timer goes up. And uh, my alarm went off and they opened the door and they went and got my test. So I'm all done here. I guess I don't do the extra hour. So I'll go home. All right, home. Be a little bit to get home because I, kept, I don't know what that glucose streak does to your bowels, but I just stopped three times to go to the bathroom. Three, three, and I, and last one included a uh, Costco. Um, and I went and got what did I get? Didn't even get a shopping cart. The kids, um, and myself are needing melatonin. I finally found the right dose that actually does put me to sleep. Um, but we are almost out of it. Like, might not have enough for tonight. So I got these two, melatonin and some chapsticks. That's it. That's all I bought at Costco. Didn't go to Marshall's like I wanted to. But I wanted to show you my pretty plants that I got to replace last year's Mother's Day plants. <laughs> Jason's like, do you need new ones? <laughs> yeah, those aren't going to regrow. So I got some more of these, I think they're fuchsias. I need to water them. I need to water it. Sorry, guys. Um, I got these last weekend. I got these last weekend, I think. Um, and Jason hung them for me the other day. Yeah, they need to get watered. Um, and I, they're all pink. 
and last year I had the purple and pink fuchsia like fu like fuchsia color but um, these ones are actually really pretty <laughs> today I just didn't want it to feel like a workout necessarily I wanted it to be enjoyable so I followed the sunshine quite literally I followed the sunshine and um, I, if you were to look at the map of where I walked there was no rhyme or reason to anyone else except for me I ran into my neighbor the um, couple that we watched their dog we're watching their dog next next weekend I think and um, She's like, well, where'd you go? I had left to go walking with you. And I was like, I just followed the sun. It was very, very nice. And tried to follow the sun and the flowers. Um, and it was quite enjoyable. Got home. I actually like sat in a parking lot for a little while after I went for my walk because I looked at the um, traffic heading home. They're doing construction on the road home. And so I was like, I'm not gonna just sit in that traffic. Let it die down just a bit and so oh there's jason hang on hi camera was blurry and <laughs> there's a car behind me so i couldn't actually stop and there's like no shoulder in on the road right there he is walking backwards up the hill <clears throat> um anyway so enjoyed my walk um waited for traffic a bit came home showered made dinner um and ate dinner, made spaghetti. Hopefully Ashley will eat that when she gets home. Kaylee was home, left with Jacob. So anyway, he's on his walk, going back to get Ashley from Cheer. And I'm done for the day, so I might just say bye to you guys. I'm expecting to get my glucose test back um, probably tomorrow or the next day. They're really quick with this lab that I went to. So we'll see what my, but I mean, I'm not gonna be able to understand the results. So hopefully I have a message from my doctor kind of giving us maybe a new path to take. That's the hope. Um, but I might have to go back in and take that one hour test. <laughs> so maybe that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow or the next day, we'll find out. Um, we'll see how Ashley did at Cheer, her chest to give you an update today. She said the pain happened like maybe once, but it was very minimal. But I also had her on ibuprofen almost all day long. I gave her some when she left this morning for school. I snuck two in her backpack. Even though you're not supposed to go to school with medicine. And she seemed to do okay. So, so far we're okay. I don't know what it was, but We'll see how she did at cheer. She was also supposed to take some before she went to cheer. So let's go see how she did and then we're gonna say goodnight to you guys. All right, well, 
Ashley was fine. Practice. Turn on the lights out there because Kaylee's friend is out looking at the chicken and we've sworn him to secrecy for now. I don't know if the chickens are staying. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of read the HOA rules. I don't know. And I don't know if we're keeping them. So I'm asking one of our old neighbors who moved out to property. And this literally building, like at this giant like shed and they have a chicken coop and chicken run whole thing. Kaylee knows them. So they might be moving. But we're gonna say goodnight to you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What do they know about? They? Them? Yeah. Chickens? Yes, they oh, know. Okay. <laughs> yes. They kept jumping on my back earlier. <laughs> I tried to put them away and they kept jumping out and onto my back. And I'm like, I can't take you off because I have to go like this but I can't see you. Yes. So all right, well, we're gonna sign off and see you guys next time. <laughs> you don't have a burp for everyone? Burp. Yeah. <laughs> can't. can't do it on, water. usually she's on, on cue. Hold on, hold on. All right, take care. Oh, no, 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 yes, it's yes, fine. Yes. Good night, you guys. Oh, no, it's not working. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I just was talking to my dad. Well, I did end this video. But then my dad called me back. I had called him yesterday. I'm trying to not let the neighbors all see me <laughs> overnight. Um, but he just got a chance to call me back. And so I was talking to him about Ashley because I hadn't filled him in about her. And I didn't wait for him by any means before I took her into urgent care. You guys saw I went and picked her up right away and took her to urgent care and told him what we had done and he was like love that they did the EKG and the x-ray and whatnot I just wish the doctor had actually it's on here it's on her discharge papers from the urgent care yesterday I just wish the doctor had actually said more about what it likely is because as soon as I gave my dad all the symptoms and all the x-ray results and the what EKJ results. What did you give him? What? what things like the symptoms. Like I told, and he said, where does I it hurt? Felt like I was going to vomit. Uh-huh. I said it hurts underneath the chest. It hurts at the sternum where, it, where the bones meet the chest wall. Um, it's sensitive to the touch right there. That yes, you almost, you got nauseous, right? I would give him all those symptoms. And he literally said, and it's on here, it's on her discharge papers, and it's costochondritis, um, is what it's called. Um, and it truly is, it like, um, um, it's not technically a growth plate in the sternum chest wall area. It's not an actual growth plate. But as a pediatrician, and again, this is why I talked to my father. <laughs> he was a pediatrician my entire life until about 10, 15 years ago. And he still follows up because he, babies are still his thing. He's still doing medical devices for babies. That's his lifelong journey is to create devices to help babies. So he's constantly looking at medical journals and, and all that. He keeps himself up to date even though he doesn't have a license. I will say that. But, he's still but the same symptoms, I just, I told him what, what that word. I said, oh, is it this word? And, you know, and he said, yep, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And he said in his entire practice, it's very common for girls at your age to have this. And he said it is like a growth plate. It is like a growth pain where that chest, that chest bone and that sternum are growing. And it hurts like the dickens. Quite literally what he said. He said it feels like you need to go and get an EKG and a chest x-ray. That's how bad it hurts. And he said she's very accurate to be to have been worried about why it hurt so bad. And he said it's unfortunate that there's we're doing what we're supposed to do. The ibuprofen is helping yeah, you. It still feels annoying going to school feeling like vomiting. Yeah, it does. So it he, makes it like, But it was okay. No, it wasn't. Well, he did say that that is truly the diagnosis and um it is annoying but you do grow out of it pretty quickly. Um, and it's, it's not a constant thing. It's not like you are going to have this until you turn 12. It might not bother you in two days, but there's our official diagnosis. 
So we had two diagnoses after two urgent cares, two attempted urgent cares this week. Do you think we have to go again? I don't think so. Hopefully not. The way that it goes, I actually get the correct. All the and time. Not the doctor. All the time. And not the doctor. <laughs> all the time and I said dad why wouldn't she explain that to me like that and he said because she's not a pediatrician and she didn't have that every single day or every single week in her practice it's just not very common for a regular doctor at an urgent care to see that often enough to know and be able to talk about it as a normal thing to have happen to kids like it is for him these things are just anyway my dad's a genius <laughs> so that's it folks Sorry for the long video, but I knew you'd want to know if she was okay and what. I knew you'd want to know all this and I don't need to regurgitate it in another day. So take care. See you next time. Maybe I need a break. Maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be.